I'm Roy Lobo. And I'm Kid Boo. And we we're on the Wolfpack Wolf Pack Crew. crew. and aka Lobo. I've been in the U.S. about 12 years and I've been b-boying for about two years. My name is Carlos Pano aka b-boy Kid Bill. Uh, I've been b-boying for three years now. What inspired me was the Jabberwockies. I just loved how like I just like how they dance. It was it was like really like it was the first time I ever actually saw someone like dance like that. And so like, I started wanting to dance like that. Who supports me? Uh, first off, I will have to say my crew. That will be the ones that support me the most. And also my family. Because uh, they've been with me since I was born. And even after that one, the rest were born. They've been there for me. <laughs> but they've been supporting me no matter what I... And like... Whatever I decide to start doing, like I used to be really into basketball before, uh, I'm into drawing a lot, and now I'm into this dancing thing, and they've been supporting me, they've never told me otherwise, you know, to stop or anything. Um, my biggest achievement would be about a um, few, or last year maybe, I went to a breakdance battle, it was a junior battle, and actually won it, and so I got like, really happy. Uh, my achievements in b-boying since I've been dancing uh, probably start my own crew uh, the wolf pack well, me and my brother started that crew uh, it was just me and him and waiting thing was just it was gonna explode us it did but then a couple of friends just asked to join us that crew so it just started growing and growing so yeah like, that would probably be my biggest achievement because we started this crew from the ground up and so far we're doing pretty good. We made top nine crews in uh, in Utah in the B Boy Federation. We're not the best crew, but we're not the worst. <laughs> hip hop. A lot of people nowadays are confusing hip hop with all this dumb stuff on TV now, like Drake, Lil Wayne, Hannah Montana. I mean, that's not hip hop. I mean, come on. <laughs> Shuffling, jerking, that's not hip-hop at all, like, it's not even close. Hip-hop, what hip-hop is, is not the type of music, but it's a culture. It's like, that's what people think, you know, like, oh, you listen to hip-hop, like, I listen to rap. Rap is hip-hop, <laughs> you know, like, do you dance hip-hop? Like, no, I dance b boy which is hip-hop, you know, like, hip-hop is the, the culture, like I said, it's a culture. But it consists of the four elements that it got originated from, you know? From DJing, you know, like DJ Cool Hertz is the one that started the whole movement down in New York. And that's what they started the B-Boy and uh, people expressing themselves in graffiti. And also the freestylers who were just expressing themselves what they felt at the time uh, by singing, by the emceeing. B-Boy, B-Boy was, LMA was kind of dying out at first, but right now it seems like it's... It's like rising up again, but we have all these other people who just are break dancers but not b-boys, you know? B-boys are, if you're a b-boy, that means that you know your history, you know what b-boy stands for, and you know what hip-hop stands for. If you just, uh, if you just try to do a windmill to a trick, you know, you just do tricks, you don't know anything about it, you're just a break dancer. You know how to do a couple of tricks, but you're not a b-boy. Same with uh, DJing, if you're just going to plug in your iPod and play it off a computer, that's not real DJing. Because the word DJ, it stands for disc jockey. I mean, that's back then, you have the DJ doing the, the cuts and scratches, you know, like switching one table to another, you know, switching the records. <laughs> but now it's just, you just plug in your computer and you just put it on shuffle and let it play. And that's not DJing, that's, I can do that. I'm not even a DJ and I can do that. I do it all the time in my car. <laughs> but that would be it. Then on graffiti, we back then it was people putting their names, putting their culture on it, putting a good image on the walls, even though it was illegal, putting like a good message out there, you know? Nowadays it's just like all 
just gang related writing. That's it. This today's now more vandalism than graffiti. It's not real graffiti. It's vandalism. <laughs> That's what it is. It's vandalism not just illegally, but I mean it's vandalism because it's disrespecting the real art of graffiti. You know, like if I go out there I'm not gonna disrespect it, you know. If I wanna try it out, I'm gonna put my effort on it. I wanna learn my history about it too. I'm not just gonna go and put some random gang name on there just because oh look I'm a graffiti artist no that's not it that's grab some real spray paint and leave the sharpies alone <laughs> but yeah I mean that will be hip hop right there hip hop it's people who come together for the right thing you know it's no there's no race on hip hop you know hip hop's for everybody hip hop is everybody you know people you live to be hip hop you live you are hip hop basically you don't just listen to hip hop, you don't dance hip hop. You know, you are hip hop and you can show that by contributing or doing one of the, the four elements. Me and my little brother for example, my crew, we what we do is break dance. You know, we B boys, so that's part of hip hop right there. That's how we that's how we are in the scene of hip hop and the culture of hip hop. In the eighth round, box spat him a breakdown For the beat in the rhyme tone Jump in the cyclone, S C O L E S, yes I know The rap thing, back scene, pack rap thing, put him up uh, You pluck the bad scene, off the wall Spitting the gorilla tag team It's up now, duck down, suck, they can't breathe uh, You know the routine, the demon effect Please don't step, you wanna feed one of my pet peeves huh? The more beef, the better, sounds strange You all wanna creep together, okay